Good morning. Today's topic is telling pretty lies versus the painful truth. This channel started off as a storage auction channel. How to, you know, do storage units and buy them and flip them and the stuff I got out there. So pretty much from the beginning, this has been a how to do business channel. I'm getting a lot of comments. Hey, Glendon, what about crypto? And I'm just sitting there like, yeah, I bought some Bitcoin back in the day. And back in the day, I actually tried to raise interest in Bitcoin and nobody was interested. No one was interested. And now I'm getting this because uh, I did a little research. It seems that all of the business channels are talking about crypto. And let me go ahead and tell you why my views are about to tank. I'm not going to be talking about crypto. I've done the research. I've done the numbers. And the majority of people are not going to get rich off crypto. This is simply not going to happen. But for some reason, people want me to weigh in on it to talk about how to make money with crypto when I don't make money with crypto. I make money with businesses. I mean, it's, it's kind of funny. Got a comment, you're doing your viewers a disabler because you're talking junk about crypto. There is this religious mania around crypto that many people feel that they're going to get their come up with crypto. And you got all these folks who are putting their attention to crypto. And I'm gonna say this, if you wanna buy crypto, knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. And if you don't want to develop any real business skills, that's on you. I'm going to continue to build businesses. I am not going to invest in crypto. Based upon my research, I can make more money in other areas. And this is something that's funny. Uh, I got this, uh, this comment that, you know, starting a business, you don't have a high probability of success. And that's not simply not true. There's a multitude of businesses. If you want to start the next Facebook or something like that, yeah, you could run into some problems. But if you wanted to um, start a small business, make 1500 2000 a month, it's very doable and it's pretty safe. So that's what I'm going to be talking about because I know taking this stand because everyone in the business space is talking about crypto and how you can get all this money. And I understand the stock market marketing department. The crypto marketing department has a great story. Hey, in 2011, I spent like 500 bucks. I got 400 coins and now I'm a millionaire. That is a beautiful marketing story. And it's true. People who bought crypto way back when, a lot of them, early, uh, early adapters, they're rich. It's a true marketing story. And this is one of the things that keeps people, because uh, I've had people, 2017 was a really interesting year. I knew it was gonna crash. And right now, there was a mini crash. It, it didn't crash hard. We're from 62 to 55. That's like a mini crash. That's not going, that's not going to shake people because essentially uh, Bitcoin can have a movement of, you know, when it was like um, 12, 15,000, it would move up and down a thousand or 2,000 a day. 
So at the current price point, you know, five thousand dollar drop is not like it ain't nothing. That's just crypto moves like that. That they ain't gonna. I mean, it's gonna have to drop thirty, forty, fifty thousand to really shake people. Because as I put in the comment, crypto is like the pretty girl with HIV. Yeah, you know she got HIV, but you still tap that. You'll still tap it because she's so pretty. She's so fine. And um, one of the things that people don't seem to understand, and once again, this is, you want me to tell you pretty lies. You want me to tell you that this scam's gonna work or crypto's gonna work or all this other stuff's gonna work. And I'm just not orientated to lie to you like that. I've done the research. Less than 1% of the world's population of the westernized women are using crypto, 1%. There is no tidal wave. There's a lot of hype. I will say the people who are already rich are cashing out on crypto. James Cramer, who is worth like a hundred million, bought some crypto at 12,000 and he recently sold. So let's go ahead and talk about this. If you are worth a hundred million you could spend a million on, on crypto and if it goes bust, your life ain't going to change. It's not going to change at all. It's like, oh, that didn't work out. But if you're the average American that's going to be using your hard earned money to invest in crypto at the expense, at the opportunity cost, there's you use this money to invest in crypto. You can't do anything else with it. It goes bad. Um, that is that's cataclysmic. Because essentially, one of the reasons that I bring you the stats: forty-two percent of the country makes eighteen thousand dollars a year. Fifty percent of the country makes less than thirty-three thousand dollars a year. 75% of the country makes less than $60,000 a year. This is single person income. Uh, they will go ahead and give you an average of 47,000, but see, that average is skewed. You wanna know why that average is skewed? It includes doctors, it includes engineers, it includes a lot of highly paid professions which skew the average. So the really, when you go to the median income, it ain't that great. So my thesis is that the average person doesn't have the money to play the crypto game. Because like, you know, some of you have chimed in, I bought Dodge Corn, I this, I spent 200 bucks and now it's 4,000 eight months later. All right, let me give you the fundamental rule of investing. Those who invest significant capital into the markets get significant returns. Those who invest small capital into the market get small returns. So you got 200, an extra 300 bucks, and you wanna see that appreciate to 100,000. Let me go ahead and give you some math on this. Bitcoin is currently like $55,000, $56,000, okay? And if Bitcoin is to replace gold as a store of value, if that happens and you have 350,000 invested in Bitcoin, which is seven Bitcoins, yeah, seven. And it happens that 350,000 will 10X to 3.5 million, if that happens. 
you need 350,000 right now in the market to get to those millions. So that means if you have less money in Bitcoin, like I got a little bit of Bitcoin, I, I just keep it to chart it. I think it's like 1.8, 1.8, it's very small. It's just a, it's a fraction of Bitcoin. And currently it is worth a thousand bucks. So if Bitcoin went to the moon and got to that $3.5 million mark, my Bitcoin would be worth like 20 to 30,000. That's where most people are. Uh, I keep making this argument and y'all keep don't hear me because you um, have this fantasy. It is a fantasy that you're going to take two, three hundred bucks, turn it into all of this money. And right now there's a lot of cryptocurrency hacks. And one of the things that I have to do as a content creator is stay on my game. People who subscribe to me did not come here for crypto. And as much as y'all want me to talk, I, I don't understand why y'all want me. I did not make my money from crypto. And I'm not one of those bandwagon people that's just gonna jump on something to um, jump on something. I'm just not doing that. Um, you know, once again, pretty lies, because essentially I have done the math, like I've exposed the stock market marketing department, you know, and people want to like the top 1% own 84% of the stocks. And there's something about the, the top 10%. Let's go ahead and have this art, this conversation. If you're not in that top 10%, you don't have the money to invest in stocks. You don't have the money to invest in crypto. And I am trying to provide you with a solution to give you the money, a blueprint. Like there's this girl, she's got this video talking about getting the $200,000 in passive income in one year. And I've rolled my eyes. I was making two million a year and I had passive income of 117,000. Well, I had active income of two million. And I'm just like, I understand that you guys are hit over the head with these easy, plausible money schemes. But the reality is even if you started a business and it blew up, okay, it blew up, you're still looking at three to five years. So this is why this whole notion of $200,000 in a year passive income is crazy. But this is what you're being fed because right now the world is crazy. I remember going to Home Depot and buying a two by four and it was like a dollar fifty. You know what a two by four is right now? It's $9, it's almost $10 for a two by four. Uh, housing, in the height of the last recession, there were four million houses for sale. This recession, there's one million and interest rates are at all time low and everyone's trying to get into a house. Like uh, recently, houses in my neighborhood started to move. Uh, there was a mansion over there on Long Island. My neighbor over here, he's just been having these, you know, essentially, he, he did what I did years ago. Essentially, they were having an estate sale and just selling everything in the house and there's been massive traffic out there for the last three days, people buying. People go into this estate sale. And um, so right now, people are not being foreclosed on. People are not having their cars repoed. Everyone's working with everyone. So this has created an artificial bubble in terms of housing, 
cars, lumber, everything is artificially inflated due to government intervention. If people were able to be foreclosed on, the, the housing market would not be what it is right now. Uh, if people were uh, getting their cars repoed, the, the market wouldn't be what it is right now. So we're in a state of suspended animation. We're in a state of, it, it's kind of crazy what's going on right now. And you add the, uh, like someone put in the comments that Coinbase was making people millionaires. Coinbase is making Coinbase insiders millionaires. Uh, the CEO is now worth $20 billion based upon the IPO. Once again, if you were not a Coinbase employee or early adapter in Coinbase, you ain't get no money. So yeah, it's true. Coinbase is making Coinbase insiders millionaires. People who have proximity. The average person, you ain't getting none of that Coinbase money. You ain't even getting none of this Bitcoin money. And essentially, I am trying to give you a blueprint. First thing you do, you start a small business and you get up to 1500 per month. And then you go ahead and you fix all of the bad financial mistakes you made. Like you got a car payment, you get your cars paid off, you get your long-term emergency funds and all this stuff set up. And at this point, you got two to three to $4,000 a month to invest in four years. Then now you can start playing. I'm, I'm trying to give you the blueprint, but so many of you are so financially desperate. And also, I was watching um, a video. Right now, we have a shortage with carpenters. There are not enough carpenters out there. And I know exactly why. You know why? Being a carpenter is hard work. And we have come to a society where if you can't do it easy, you can't sit on a computer screen and flip some coins, people don't want to do it. People don't want to do it. So you have people who would rather starve than to do hard work. This is where we are as a country. This is why I feel that at some point in the future, we're going to have a form of universal basic income because people do not want to do the work. They don't want to do the work. I had a free course that would teach you how to make money. People would take it and they're like, ah, that's too hard. So we're in a weird space and in this weird space, if you are a hustler and you're willing to do the work, I, I had someone in the comments, he's like, man, I listened to you. I started my business a year ago. I made $1,300 this week. Year old business, bringing in 1,300 bucks profit in a week. In a week. So for those of you who are not um, blinded by crypto wealth, which is a facade. Yes, the, the, here, here's, the, here's the numbers. The people who are already rich are getting rich in crypto. The people who are broke, not so much. Not so much. The Winklevoss friends, their father is worth 400 million. Without crypto, they still would have been multimillionaires. Multi-millionaires, based on what their father did. And uh, Chamath, billionaire, started off at Facebook. So essentially, the folks who have a lot of money are the ones who are getting rich in crypto and the average person is left out. The average person can't get in. 
the average person is left out of the reindeer games. And essentially, this is why I think people are getting to options trading. People are going, going to Forex. People are getting into crypto because they don't want to get their hands dirty. Right now, you can start a business hauling junk off and make $2,000 a month on top of your job income. But people don't want to work. That's, that's really what it is. People are seduced. Because like I said, uh, I haven't gone through the, the receipts because uh, essentially I took this weekend to look for a car lot. And let, let, let's talk about that. I'm putting up real information, real stuff to help you start a business. And these videos don't get the views. Don't get the views. I put up a mistake at Savage Finance, how to get a $5,000 to $10,000 credit card. And um, someone commented that the card only had a $3,000 limit. And I confirmed that. And I was like, damn. Essentially, people are looking for no credit check, high credit limit type stuff. And it ain't that much out there. So I did a rebuttal video saying, hey, there, there was a mistake here. I, I got to go ahead and list some comments. And um, essentially, it's a good start. And then I figured out a way where you can get to that $5,000 limit. But essentially, right now, we're in a state of flux. We're in a state of flux. Everything is weird. Housing prices should not be this high, but the marketplace is artificially propped up because they're not doing foreclosures. And I feel that they're going to push through this bill where they won't be doing foreclosures to 2023, which is going to keep the housing market white hot. If you're trying to buy a house, and under the $400,000 range, you're entering into bidding wars, you're facing disappointment, um, and essentially, million dollar houses are starting to move. I've been checking on Zillow, because you know this is my neighborhood, they're starting to move. So it has pushed people to the brink where million dollar houses are starting to fly off the market. Because essentially, there are not that many houses for sale. This is a very interesting bubble. Car bubble, housing bubble, crypto bubble. And I feel that because people are scared, a lot of people are investing in crypto. I know someone who bought some crypto. And we we're having the conversation because he hasn't bought any more. He bought some, I think he got into Bitcoin when it was a thousand bucks. And he, he got like 50 coins. And he says, man, honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should sell. I told him, I said, you should sell half. You should sell half. You should take your gains. You, 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 you spend a thousand, you're going to make $54,000 profit. You should, take, you should take your gains. You should sell half of them. Because at some point it's going to crash and you're going to have to sit and wait until it goes back up again. And he's like, you know, he's like, then he, he said, I got to pay capital gain. I'm like, yeah, that's the game, Blair. But will you have to pay capital gains or will the crypto have to pay capital gains? Ain't no money out your pocket. It's coming out of your profits. So I think he's going to sell half and realize his money. And um, essentially, I'm not going to start talking about crypto and all this other stuff. I'm gonna maintain my stance because I've done my research. I have the numbers, I have the science, I have the stats. And for the average person, this is what you gotta do. You gotta make more money. 
so you can start playing the investment game. You don't have enough money to play the investment game. You're making 30 K a year. You're not investing shit. You don't have enough money. You know, if you're making 30 K a year at age 18 and you start putting a hundred bucks away for the next 45 years. Okay. You'll have a million dollar net worth when you're 60 worth doing better than doing nothing, but essentially, um, if you listen to me and don't argue with me, and I find this really disrespectful, just ma just massively disrespectful. I have shown you receipts and you still want to argue with me based upon what you want, what you want, because it's like, like I said, crypto is like that pretty girl with HIV. Even though you know it's got HIV, you still go, you're going to tap it because it's so pretty. And, you know, the Hodge twins had this expression, you do what you want. Do what you want. But uh, leave me out to crypto games because I already got money. I don't have to buy. I, I, this is something else, too. Uh, people will combat the crypto folks. And it's like, yeah, he makes millions from business. Yeah, but he can make millions more. Let's have this conversation. There is a limit to how much money I want. I don't have this insatiable appetite. I mean, frankly, my monthly expenses, you know, which are handled by the corporation, roughly 7,000. I live in a million dollar house, drive a Porsche, BMW, get whatever I want. I'm good. I can live my rest of my life in this space. Taking, you know, if I wanted to take a week off and go skiing, I could do it. So where I'm at, I'm really happy and I'm comfortable. So I don't need to have all of this money just sitting up so I can flex on the internet. I don't need it. Essentially, I am happy working. I'm really looking forward to this car dealership because it is a challenge. And I gotta figure it out because I'm gonna be working Saturdays until I can hire someone to work Saturdays. I gotta hire someone, I gotta train somebody to run the dealership or it's gonna be on me. That's another problem I gotta solve. So essentially for you lazy people, and I, I say lazy with a capital L, who don't want to work, you feel that crypto or some of this other stuff is going to save you and put all this money in your pocket. And it's just simply not true. Simply not true. But you feel that you're going to, um, get that you feel that you're going to be able to make that happen once again the pretty lies this channel is going to be rooted in teaching people how to start businesses and essentially here's my thesis if you make less than thirty thousand dollars a year you start a small business that makes fifteen hundred in addition to your job, you will be better off in two to three years than if you invested in crypto. I know that is hard for a lot of you to hear with these fantasies of immediate and massive crypto wealth. I mean, it's just simply not going to happen. And but the crypto market like right now, there is a organization this isn't an individual there's an organization that is posting on all these videos and it's like people will be kicking themselves if they don't invest in crypto this is an organ this is an organization this isn't one person this is an organized effort of creating influence and i guarantee you I wouldn't be surprised if a whale has spent some money 
buying and hiring these people to do this because the whales are making the most money in crypto. The whales. That's who's making the most money in crypto. It's not average people. And, um, you know, it's funny. Everyone's talking about the highs, like right now, this, this is just weird. It's just a weird space and time. Very, very, very weird what's going on right now. It is strange. But once again, you know, I'm an old guy. This is one of the things it's like, oh, you know, it's funny. All you young bucks with your new fangled knowledge and your new crypto investments and stuff, you still don't have as much money as I do, but for some reason, you feel that you're smarter. When crypto crashes, and it will crash, I'm gonna still have money. What you gonna have? And that is an indisputable fact that crypto will crash. It has a, it has a record of massive crashes. It's gonna crash again in the future. All of it, because when Bitcoin goes down, it all goes down. So, one of the things that's going to happen is we're going to have people who are going to invest a lot of time in the crypto space, learning how to do crypto, learning how to buy coins, and they're not going to build any real marketplace skills. They're not going to learn how to market. They're not going to learn how to sell. And it's going to catch up with them. It's going to catch up with them. So, Please, you know, I, you know, we've become combative because some of you are so desperate to make some money. And it, you remind me of this young man who killed his mother in Chicago. Uh, she gave him everything he wanted because he wanted more. He wanted to go to the mall and show off. He had 10,000 cash in his pocket. This man killed his mother. And that's how a lot of y'all act. You know, you want it so bad, you will do whatever, whatever to get what you want, say what you want, and you will lie in the comments because essentially, once again, I've done the math. You don't have enough money to really make any money in crypto. You really don't. Let's say, you flipped your crypto to a million dollars in 10 years. What does that mean? What does that look like? That means that you have invested in crypto and you've not been able to pull out any money and spend it. Once again, a business gives you spendable cash. I bought a Porsche, I bought the BMW, spent 200K, spent like another 20K upgrading them, doing things to them and I got that money back in 30 days. Your investments are not gonna do that. Investments should be a supplement. And many of you are trying to make investments the main enchilada. If you're already rich, yeah, you should invest. You should go ahead and parlay your money into investments and start developing some passive income. Yeah, absolutely. But first of all, you gotta get the money first. And a lot of y'all are trying to skip that step. Going straight into investing, thinking you smart, living in the hood, smoking sweet and miles, listening to Rich Wayne. I mean, this, this dude, the age corporation game is just, it, it don't work. And essentially anyone that tells me that, hey, you know, you could do this because th this is another big issue I have with a lot of y'all. Y'all would tell me this stuff works, but you're not using it. You haven't tried it. You don't have any experience with it, which is very, very funny, which is hilarious. So I'm not going to devolve this channel into a crypto channel because I have enough. I have enough intestinal fortitude to bear the slings and arrows and all this other stuff because I'm a critical thinker and I'm not going to give you guys any information that's going to harm you because uh, 
essentially, I only had like two people send some receipts. And one guy, I kind of saw it, I think he, he spent 5,000. Well, let's talk about that. How many Americans have 5,000 to spend on crypto? You know, a lot of people are doing this stuff on credit, which is very, very risky. But I'm gonna stick to my plan of educating people how to start small businesses because 75% of America is in the income danger zone. I don't have enough money to really invest and they're mired in debt, credit card debt, student loan debt. And you gotta fix all of that to set the stage so you can get rich later because investments are a supplement and many of you have this false notion even though you can go to the Forbes list of a thousand richest people they're all business owners none of them are investors and you know I'm, a, I'm killing these sacred cows because there are many of you who feel that you can buy one house and let me go ahead and give you the game on this you could buy one house live in it two years then get another house, live in that two years, and get another house and live in that two years. So in 10 years, you'll have five rentals. That's one way to do it. Ain't gonna happen overnight. And it's literally gonna take you 10, 15 years for the rents to appreciate where you're cash flowing nicely on those first three properties. Like if your average person you're not gonna get rich because someone put in a, a comment, he bought an apartment building for 120, 115,000. Once again, where'd he get the 115? Cause see the details, man. People be leaving out these details cause I guarantee you, see that someone left him the money or he had a business. I guarantee it. He left out that important detail. The average person doesn't have 115,000 to buy a rental property. And he said the rental property cashes out at $25,000 per year, which means in four or five years, he's gotten all his money back and the property is 100% a cash cow. I guarantee you there was a business or an inheritance somewhere up in there. And the, these little pesky details, these little people be leaving this out like, yeah, man, I got rich in real estate. Like uh, someone just called Dave Ramsey. 24 years old with a $550,000 brokerage account. How did he get it? Someone left him the money. Yeah, if someone leaves you the money, leaves you a chunk of cash, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. How many people in that position? I've not had anyone die and leave me shit. Nothing. Everything I have, I got on my own everything I don't know what it's like to receive an inheritance don't know what that feels like but I do know what it's like to get a six-figure cashier's check I know what that's like and in the future I'm gonna know what it's like to get a two to three million dollars cashier's check for this apartment see not only am I trying to teach you what you need to do but I'm still growing I'm still growing and I'm trying to bring you along for the ride. And a lot of you are just fucking lazy. Lazy. Don't want to work. Like someone left a comment. I don't want to get on Craigslist. And I don't want to eat. I don't want to do all that. Really? But you broke. You don't have no money. You dating a chick you don't want to date because you don't have enough money to date the chick you want to date. Yeah, I said that. A lot of you are settling because you don't have the financial presentation to get the kind of woman you want. And you, you're living that life and you don't wanna work. You don't wanna do anything. Like you could literally go on Craigslist today with 50 bucks, spend three, four hours on there, making 50% offers and increase your capital base for pennies. But see, here's the thing. When you don't have any money, you got to work hard. 
Like, I'm going to be able to take this 150 and flip it to 2.5 million in two to three years. Why? Because I start off with 150. There's a guy here on YouTube who started his car dealership with 400 bucks. And he flipped the cars, he flipped the cars, he flipped the cars into a full dealer lot. That took years. I'm going to get to where he is in two years because I'm starting off with capital. You know that pesky stuff like, ooh, cash, in the, cash money in the bank. Cash is trash. Really? Cash ain't trash when you're starting a business player. Cash ain't trash when you're trying to invest at a high level. Cash is highly desirable. You know, Grant, Grant has just forgotten how he got started. Because if you were to listen to Grant and you're making $30,000 a year, you're going to fail. You're not going to get to where Grant is. No time soon. No time soon. So we're going to be having these little conversations. Um, I'm pretty much going to probably start banning the crypto people because a lot of you, it's like a coat. It's like the coat of crypto, cryptocurrency. And a lot of you essentially don't know what real money is. You've never seen real money. You, you know, if you make an additional three or four thousand dollars a month, you lit. You lit. You have not seen six figures a month come into your life. You ain't seen that. And that's something I have to remember because most of America is poor. Most of America don't have no money. And I'm trying to change that one person at a time. So with that, go below. Enroll in the art of holding, and uh, I'm going to teach you how to start a business from scratch. We're going to do that. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.